First interview, so you motherfuckers get to really know the real story. And who's stupid? You or her? Which one? <laughs> Probably you. Cause you keep doing it. And it's only hip hop station. It is Hot 107.9. You're like skinny Negro E.T. You dirty J. Nicks, man. And um, like we, said, I, I gotta introduce her right. We have the woman that everybody loves to hate. She didn't switch. And the hates the face, love. And hates the love. And keep on trying to love it. Right. And love it anyway. I hate cat sex in the building. What's up? Let me get that shit. Let me get it. Let me go do, you, do your thing. Cat sex, bitch. Yeah! <laughs> This is your first radio interview. Yes, exclusive first radio interview ever. And so you know, wow. you know what's so cool is that so you know everybody always look at me at ET as like the guys that the rebels, and you like a girl rebel in your own little rebel way. You know what I mean? So what's happening? What's going on? You good? Mm-hmm. Put your on it right now. Can you remember like, do you have like a list of the number of artists that you've been with? Um, I've been with a lot of artists. I just haven't exposed everybody because they still keep a good relationship with me. <laughs> and like, the ones I put out there is people that's cut off, done me wrong, and ain't mean nothing to me. Right. Oh, no. So you, you so she didn't fuck a lot of artists. Let's just say it. I mean, Can you, I mean is, is it is it okay? Would they be mad if you said their names or? I mean, it's your first radio interview, man. We got ass. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, I can't say the names right now that I'm cool with until they fuck up and right. then I'll come back over here and expose them. <laughs> that's fine. That's, that's cool with us too. We'll be the first radio station I'll come back and expose them on though. Uh, so, so, so who was actually the first artist that you slept with? How did you get into sleeping with artists? Well, I've been working in strip clubs since I was 14 years old. Damn! <laughs> yeah, Damn. so like... Fat... You can meet any types of people at a strip club, so it meant nothing to me. The money was just everything to me back in the days in the club, so. so the first song. person I met in Miami was actually T-Pain. Uh-huh. Because um, he's always go to Tootsie's. Then he bought this club called Encore, and I met him there because I was the dancer there. Mm -hmm. So then after that, I started meeting up everybody. So T-Pain opened the door for you? The first guy. I'm in love with a stripper. No, no, no. Oh. Before I was, that, they meant nothing to me. I was just all about my baby daddy. It was with him for five years living with him. So. Oh, uh, okay. So what happened? Your baby daddy him. fucked up. What happened? What happened? Hold on, hold on. Before we get to baby daddy, I, I y'all keep it locked. <laughs> keep it locked. How was seven nine? That's <laughs> yes, crazy. Fourteen. So you have a little boy or girl? If you mind I have a boy. Have a boy. That's cool. <laughs> now. Building cat. Who gave you your name? Now. My baby daddy. Alright. Talk like. like <laughs> Where did that name come from? I just want to be oh. like. Can we talk like like we homies? And, uh, um, Pins give you code names. I just want to be of like. Alright, cool. Because this is your first radio interview. Knew that. We had to work hard at this because at first <laughs> when I was hitting you, I had to tweet you <laughs> and <laughs> shout you out and girl, hey girl, hey girl, you know what I mean? I try to get you with pizza and. I was loyal, faithful, everything. Everything else and Patron. We had to get Patron. Get Patron, guys. Shout out to niggas who did a fucked up nigga like. Man, this nigga broke my heart and this nigga created a gold mine. A beat. I was been for five years. Came home every night, worked seven days a week. <laughs> up in the whole nine, and she's up here the next day, man. Shouts out to Molly too. Where to change your life around? Um, I want to ask you this now. Fuck it. Hey, the game in a lie right now. All this hoes got freedom to get the fuck away. Back in the days, you don't have no freedom. Now bitches go on Twitter, Facebook, MySpace. The fuck out of here. So you um, man the same no more. I've been with a so lot of artists. Paper shit for real. I just have been exposed to everybody because back in the days, they now still they keep a good now relationship with me. Want. They used to be like, <laughs> like but then it was by force. The ones I put out there is So internet that, saved you. Hmm? Internet saved you. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. No, not really, but. I mean, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like shit. It's like. This is interesting. Mm -hmm. Internet pimping. Internet pimping. Now I was never internet pimping. I was on the, on the real shit. <laughs> you on the strip. Yeah, now you internet hoeing. <laughs> I was what on what the real now? shit. We talking about your internet, you internet hoeing now. Imagine you shut the fuck up. You internet hoeing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, though. But you remember you said when you seen bottom bitch on the leg, you was like, oh yeah, she do this for real. Yeah, that's what I, that's what that's what it dawned on me. 
I got that tattoo when I was 16 years old. When I saw it, when I saw bottom bitch on you, I was like, oh, this bitch is no joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, because no, not too many people know what bottom bitch really means. You know what I'm saying? It's a pimp terminology. But out there is people that's cut off, done me wrong, and you want me to tell people what bottom bitch Shout means? Shout out to all the girls on Backpage. It basically means the downest chick, the one who's down for whatever. She's about her bread. She's, she she don't care. You know what I'm saying? She's always down to the to the bottom of the ground. That's what bottom bitch means. No matter what, no matter who's around, that's what bottom.